You always get top, let's go towards your over hook. This one here, you always get top through here. Come over here. When I go towards the window, it's right. That, you know, this is the arm on to choke and then put it out and do this. So this is the only arm in play that's going to choke him. Does that make sense? This arm you don't need to worry about, even if we get it out. From this position, I'm not choking him this arm. Does that make sense? So I've only got one arm in play. So instead, come back round right, the way. I go towards my underhook. As long as my face, you see, see when I've got this over, my face is always going to be in. That's where everyone's body works. This arm's the overhook, my face will be on this side. Yeah. I roll to here and I just keep my head underneath his head. Now, this arm's in play. I can choke him. But if I get this out, I can choke him with this arm as well. Does that make sense? So now I've got two arms in play. This is why I, I like to choke people like this. Because once he fights one arm off, you know, peel the arm off. This is there, just any. I can go this, back over, peel, peel. And I've got both arms in play. Does that make sense? <laughs> so one more time. I accept. Always start to go this way. When I go to half the overhaul, I can't get my head underneath it. Oh, it's very difficult at least. I can choke him with this arm. Can't choke him with this arm. By the time this comes over, he gets his back to the mat anyway and he's long gone. So go towards this. Now, choke him with this arm. I can get this out. I can choke him with this arm. I can have both. Does that make sense? Go wee partner. And feel